This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking Black is Beautiful, which is a collaboration between Trillium and White Lion Brewery. White Lion Brewery is almost open in Springfield. They had a little get, uh, kick off this morning that we could all walk up and buy some of their beer, try them out. And they're obviously extremely proud of this beer, which reading about it, it seems to be a slight change on the overall Black is Beautiful recipe. If I read it correctly, they changed the malt bill slightly and they added vanilla bean, which is not part of the normal. So we're going to go ahead and give us a crack, get it in a glass and see what we got. Been gone for a while, haven't done a review in forever. I thought this one would be a good one to kick us off again. And um, cheers. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. Even though I haven't had much content lately. And... Go ahead and leave comments. We love talking about beer. Wow, this is a beautiful looking Imperial Stout. Just pitch black, cannot see anything through it. We have, oh, what, a finger and a half, and maybe a finger and a half of nice dark brown head on it. The tight bubbles, got a little bit of glass lacing on it. Just exactly what you would expect. Black is beautiful. Roma wise, oh, definitely got vanilla. Definitely got vanilla. A little bit of black coffee. Vanilla. And a little bit of, I almost taste like, I don't know, taste, uh, almost smells a little bit like a rum under, undertone to it. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Oh, wow. Dead on for what you want from one of these. Uh, just creamy, smooth mouthfeel. Um, <coughs> I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> uh, it's got vanilla bean up front. It's got that wonderful roasted black coffee flavor at the back end. Just so traditional and imperial stout. So looked for and it's there. Like I said, it's got that thick creamy milkshake type flavor or uh, mouthfeel to it. A little bit of sweetness in the middle. A little hint of that rum that I was talking about earlier. Maybe just a touch of like a dark fruit, like a, a like a, a black cherry. Um, but your dominant flavors will be the vanilla in the front, the black coffee in the back, and then subtle hints of some other warming flavors in the middle. Uh, get a little bit of alcohol warming in the back of the chest, but I don't taste the alcohol. Fabulous beer. I don't score anymore. I changed that. Um, partly because it's so arbitrary. I've found over the years that my scale has shifted around. So it just doesn't make any sense. So what would you say about this beer? It hits all the notes you want on an Imperial Stout. It's delicious. It's got great mouthfeel. It's creamy. It's got my black coffee that I love. And it, it's definitely worth drinking. Definitely worth drinking again. I guess I'm assuming this is a one of. But if you get a chance, buy some, try it. Let me know what you think. Till next time, keep drinking.